Hello, Finn and Pico. How are you guys doing today? Hello, Hello buddy. Very well. Good. Good. Good to hear. Well, listen. Welcome to season two of Dickinson. You guys are so good in this. And uh, Pico, let's start with you because you know what is it like jumping into a series and established cast, and then this is such a beautiful, unique world. What was that like for you? It was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I strangely knew a bunch of the cast just from the scene, I guess the New York scene. So uh, coming to set the first day, I had a lot of allies. So I felt real comfortable and I uh, was able to just, uh, you know, let loose and have fun. Well, it's a great cast. There's no question about that. And, and Finn, yeah. how about for you? Yeah, kind of the similar as Pico, like we were just saying in another interview, everyone was so welcoming and friendly in the cast. It felt like we'd been a part of the show since day one. Um, yeah, it was it's such a wonderful environment to work in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pico, I want to ask you, you know, here you are, you're playing um, this guy who he's he's boarding in the home of the Dickinsons. He's got a little love interest going on. You know, what is it like for you to kind of go back into this time period, wear these costumes, look at these sets. I mean, too much fun? Too much fun. It's just too much fun. <laughs> what, you know, what's my job? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I, I like, I, I'll take any opportunity that I can get uh, to just hang out on set, you know? If I can avoid going back to my dressing room and I can just hang out in one of the bedrooms that's not being used on the day, then yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? And yeah. Finn, Finn, for you, you know, pay, playing this um, editor, this guy who, he, you know, it's interesting, his character, because here he is, he's trying to get Emily, played by the wonderful Haley, um, a little bit of fame. He's pushing her into, into that a bit. Um, first off, I want to ask you about working with Haley, because to me, it seems like she is one girl with her head screwed on tight and deals with fame quite well. Yeah, I mean, working with Haley was really just wonderful. I think she's one of the greatest actresses of her generation, and if not kind of in the world right now. Uh, not only is she extremely talented, but just the the way that she carries herself on set, the 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 warmth and the friendliness and the the level of like professionalism that she brings to the scenes is just it's just really wonderful to be around someone with with just so much. Uh, great talent and a great personality so it really was like every time we had a scene together it was just it was just so fun getting to work with Haley and really get into that really interesting dynamic between the two characters because yeah. especially with Sam you never really know what side he's playing for you know like is he this feminist editor that wants to like elevate the voices of women or yes. is he just like trying to get laid and trying to like you know have these <laughs> ulterior motives yeah. and honestly you know seeing how Elena wrote the script it was just so wonderful to be able to like constantly go back and forth between that and really play around with it I I often see Sam as kind of like a, a snake like figure in that role you never really know you know which way he's going um until the very end and then obviously we find out where yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Pico, I want to ask you, um, what I love a lot about this show is it is bringing poetry. It's it's to a new generation. It's making people really accepted, and especially the way that Elena has written the script and, and all the, the great music that's incorporated. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, if people like it, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a poetry guy yourself? Clearly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big poetry guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I want to ask you, uh, when we go back to the theme of fame, um, you have been in some pretty big fa franchises, you know, Marvel, Game of Thrones. I mean, you yeah. are a guy who knows how to deal with fame. How do you how do you handle that? You know, people always wanting to, to talk to you, to, to meet you. You know, it, it's a hard, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, I think, you know, what the show touches on is like how do you handle fame and keep your own integrity yeah. you know both artistically and also personally and i think that it's a really wonderful what they've done with the show is 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 that show that that if you know fame does come into your life it's really important to not let the the traps of it kind of take you away into someone that you're not and it is important to kind of stay in 
integral to like who you are mm -hmm. um and so i guess that's kind of how i've dealt with it as well is trying to you know remind myself you know what do i stand for what are my ethics and you know how do i want to present myself in the world um you know and when i do run into people that recognize me you know i want to give them the time of day and i want to show yeah. up as a decent person and give them a, a, a nice experience as i hope it would be if i met someone that i was really in admiration of you know like you just pass that kind of good energy around the world and it comes back to you and it's um personally i, I really enjoy it i really enjoy um you know well, being being a part of stuff that other well, people well like. said well said well yeah. congratulations to the two of you it is really fun to watch you in this series best of luck and uh we look forward to seeing you again in season three take care and have a great day